The manhunt is now in its 12th hour, and police are now focused on a nearby neighborhood where their suspect fled after he carjacked a vehicle from this Walmart parking lot. Elaine, the reward for Lloyd is now at $60,000. Well, Omar, where are police concentrating their search area? They're going to this neighborhood maybe about two miles away. We, they believe that he used to live there, but there have been several neighborhoods where they have gone through. They basically shut everything down, access in and out, and they're literally going in, in some of these apartment complexes, knocking on every door. So it is a long, it is a tedious process, and they are making their way across uh, where they think the suspect Lloyd may be. It's a long process, and they're expecting a long night. And what do we know, Omar, about the moment when Sergeant Deborah Clayton first encountered the suspect? From what we understand uh, with Police Chief Min at his press conference, he said that she was here, and somebody actually came up to her since she was in uniform and said, hey, there's that guy, that guy being Mr. Lloyd, uh, as a murder suspect. Apparently, she went up to him and tried to confront him, and he ran. Well, there was a brief chase, and the police chief told us that during that police, uh, br brief chase, he made some space between him uh, and the uh, master sergeant and turned around and shot, at, shot her several times. She was able to shoot back, did not hit him. Officers were here on the scene in what they are telling us is 28 seconds. But at that point, he'd already carjacked the vehicle and was already on his way out of this parking lot. Well, have funeral arrangements been made for Sergeant Clayton? And how is the community there reacting to her death? Uh, we haven't heard anything yet. Of course, this is going to take a few days. There's a small memorial that was set up up front where people had set down some flowers. But as far as uh, formal arrangements, uh, nothing yet. And people are taking this very hard in this community because she grew up here. She was an Orlando police officer. She was involved in charities, especially if there were kids involved. There was something called Dueling Dragons, uh, which was a, a charity where they would get at-risk kids and pair them up with adults and a lot of officers as well, uh, interact with them, and then they would have these boat races, um, which is something that, of course, a lot of kids who had maybe not been on a boat, it was something exhilarating and fun. She had a college-age uh, child herself. She was just recently married, and she was always in the community. The police chief was saying whenever there was a chance to volunteer, and it was one of those events where there was going to be kids involved, that she was the first to jump on it. So, of course, people are shocked here. Interesting note, obviously Orlando has been in the news in the last year as with the horrible shooting at the Pulse nightclub. Uh, we learned that she was uh, one of the officers who responded at the scene moments after the shooting calls started coming in. Hmm. All right. Omar Villafranca in Orlando for us. Omar, thank you.